indictment. Um, he's charged with count 57, which was participation in criminal street gang activity, which carried a sentence of five to 20 years. He was also charged with count 58, which is violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act. That is for the possession. Right, marijuana. A marijuana, which yeah. carries a sentence of one to 10 years. Um, as to count 59, I believe that's the position of codeine mm -hmm. with the intent to distribute, which is one to five, which is five to 30 years. And count 59, which is the possession of cocaine, which count is 60 is possession of cocaine. So 59 was the codeine. 60 right. is the possession of cocaine, which was one to, ten, one to five years. Possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, which was count 61 which is five years to serve consecutive to um, any right. count indictment. Mm -hmm. Possession of a machine gun, which was count 62, which was 10 years to serve consecutive. And then he was charged with um, count 63, which is possession of a firearm by convicted felon pursuant to 1611-133. I know my math isn't the best, but that's life plus a couple, some years. Um, the state's recommendation, Your Honor, was for Mr. Kendrick to plead to count one, Conspiracy to violate the Racketeer um, Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, which was 20 to serve 15. Count two, the murder reduced the voluntary manslaughter, 20 years to serve 15, excuse me, 20 years to serve 15. And then to the gang count, count 57. 57, also 20 years to serve 15, all to run concurrent, and the state was willing to null process all the other counts in the indictment. All right. And um, Mr. Kendrick and uh, uh, the attorneys associated with you, I want to make sure that you all know that unlike what happened with Mr. Williams, the, the no if you plead non-negotiated to less than all of the charges, um, there is nothing that the court can do if the state chooses to go forward with some of those charges. So you could not do what Mr. Uh, Williams pled guilty or NOLO to each of the charges that he was facing. Um, Y'all cannot, you cannot say, well, I'd like to plead guilty to count one and I'd like to plead to the reduced charge on count two and then I'd like to just skip the rest of them because the state can say, well, we're not skipping the rest of them, we're still going to try you for the rest of them. And the state can also say, we're not okay with letting you plead to voluntary manslaughter unless you abide by the terms of the agreement we're going to go forward with the murder trial. So I know that Mr. Weinstein, you and Mr. Apt and everybody else who's been helping know that, but because things seem to have worked out sort of beneficially for some of these other people who have already pled, y'all might think, oh, well, gosh, can't we do something better than that? Given what you're facing they hold a lot of the cards, and a lot of it is outside of the ability of this court to change, okay? All right. We understand that, Your Honor. Thank you for advising all us right. of that. Um, all right. Mr. Stilwell is facing. Your Honor, Mr. Stilwell is also looking at count one, which the conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act which is five to 20 years. He is facing two counts of murder for count two and count 49, which carries, each carries a sentence of life imprisonment. Um, he's also charged with count 50 of this indictment, Your Honor, which is participation in criminal street gang activity, which carries a sentence of five to 20 years. He's also charged with count 51, participation in criminal street gang activity, also a sentence of five to 20 years. Count 52, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, previously convicted under 1611-133, which is 15 years consecutive to any count in the indictment. 54, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, which is five years to serve, consecutive. Count, and count 64, which is another um, possession of a firearm 
by convicted felon under 1611-133, which is also 15 years to serve consecutive. Right. So Mr. Stillwell's looking at two consecutive, maximum of two life sentences plus 20. 85 years. Plus 85 years, Your Honor. The state's recommendation, um, and I'll just say globally, Your Honor, was 60 years to serve 40 years in prison. Um, that we would have reduced both of the murders to voluntary manslaughter, Your Honor, and we had given um, his attorney the option to kind of craft how that 40 years would look. But okay. that was the extent to our um, right. negotiations, Your Honor. And, Mr. Silwell, kind of the same um, information to you. Um, if the state does not want to reduce charges, you're not entitled to plead to reduce charges. They can say, you you got to face these murder charges and we're going to make it a jury trial if you don't agree to what we're offering. Um, same thing, they can't, you can't say, well, I'd like those other charges dismissed if they're not willing to dismiss them in exchange for the negotiated sentence. So um, obviously each of you has the right to continue with the trial. Um, you know, what you're doing, you are all have very capable attorneys representing you um, who clearly care very passionately about you all personally as well as presenting your best case. Um, but it's ultimately gonna be up to the jury and you cannot know what any jury is going to do. And they may say, I don't believe a single bit of this beyond a reasonable doubt. Y'all are both walking. They may say, you know what, I buy this, I don't buy that. I'm convicting you of four of the five or four of the eight charges. You're still then going to face sentencing. They may convict you of everything. And... If you are convicted of everything, Mr. Stilwell, you're facing two life sentences plus 85 years on top of that, as opposed to 40 years to serve with parole as a possibility. And Mr. Kendrick, you are facing life plus, I think I added up 115 years instead of 20 to serve 15. So it's just something to think about. And I mean, it's already passed. Five o'clock. So, are y'all going to leave the offer open until <laughs> you have withdrawn the offer before you even put it on the record to? We communicated this to them last night, but if they did not accept it, then we would have withdrawn the offer. All right. Well, given that the state spent the entire day negotiating Mr. Williams' plea. Ultimately, unsuccessfully, I don't know if either Mr. Weinstein or um, Mr. Sharp would have been able to negotiate with you during today. They would have. No, mm. we didn't have any communication from Mr. Weinstein or Mr. Um, and they rejected the offer. Okay. I, I did have communication with Mr. Abate today. I attempted to have communications right. with the DA last Tuesday well, morning, but she failed to show up for our meeting. Mm. Any chance y'all might leave it open until 9 o'clock tomorrow? We, Your Honor, I'll consult with the DA and, um, if, she, if she wishes to read. Okay. I mean, I have no idea whether they'd want to keep it, but I haven't. Uh, you know, we haven't put it on the record, and I haven't ensured myself as the court that they understood what the potential sentences were up until just now. So I would appreciate it if she would so that they have the opportunity, having heard from the court, to talk to their attorneys. And they may still say that we're good, we're going forward, but. Okay. So in the event that it is no longer open to you or that you decide to reject it anyway, um, I plan to start the trial again um, Monday morning I'm going to have the jury be here at 9. I'm going to have us be here at 8.30. We're back to getting no sleep. So um, I'll see y'all at 8.30 regardless. Okay, now court is adjourned.